We got our solar. We are in Conwood, Arizona. Um, a lovely delivery service here. Um, Arizona Postal Shipping Service. And the way you would find them if you're in the area. Azpostalshipping.com. Azpostalshipping.com. That's it. And here's our panels from Renogy. Thank you so much. So this is, what do we call this? The 400 watt kit from Renogy. And it comes with a MPPT controller. And I think we got 40 amp? I think it's a 40 amp controller. So we're going to bring them inside and unbox them. So this is our 100 watt Renogy panel. We're going to wire in all four of them, but before we can do anything, we've got to get figure out a way to mount everything to the roof of this trailer, which is kind of unique. There's not really that many people who put solar on cargo trailers, so if you don't want to buy a $400 roof rack, you got to kind of figure it out yourself, so we are doing just that. So let me maybe show you what our roof looks like. Um, Unlike vans and such, we don't have much except just a flat, flat roof. And the sides look like that. Not strong enough to grab onto. So we're getting some spacing out, and we have some pressure-treated lumber over there, and we have some brackets we'll be showing you. But right now, we're just getting the spacing. So now we have these brackets on here. There's four brackets, comes with four bolts, comes with the hardware to attach it to the solar panel itself. Um, I want to give you some dimensions, some stuff that we couldn't find online. Um, in between these two holes for the brackets, for a mount is, from center to center, is three and a quarter inches, three and a quarter inches, and that's the part that's going to mount into whatever structure you're drilling into. The actual bracket itself is four inches long. In between these two brackets is 24 inches from end to end there. Looks like from screw to screw though is 23, so it'll be 23 inches. And let's see the depth right here. So the depth off of, of the roof I guess it would be. Looks like is a hair over a half inch. I might have to reconfirm that later. Um, that. I think that's pretty much the basics you'd want to know. The panel yeah. itself Just about looks like 21, 21 and a quarter inches across. If you were to try and mount that directly on without using brackets, 21 and a quarter by 47 inches. 21 and a quarter by 47 inches. Um, let's see, on the back it says the weight. It is 16 and a half pounds is the weight. That's all for now. We're going to go up there and try and figure out how to mount this panel a little bit better. Uh, we elected to do, if possible, no drilling into our roof so we don't have any leaks in the future. So we're going to try and bracket it from the side and create some sort of support system. That's the plan anyways. So yeah, the, the next step is to find out how to mount this and where to put those supports that are going to string along length of the trailer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a panel up onto the roof and we're going to kind of try and find the position we want it in and then we're going to use that placement to mark where our brackets are going to go and then we'll install those brackets and then we'll be able to install um, the pieces of wood that we're going to use um, to support 
the panels. Oh no! You want to move it? Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be on your roof, though. He's a pretty friendly looking spider. Yeah, a little tiny. He's not a goober. He's like a friendly. We're getting used to spiders and everything. This spider's about that big. Doesn't really look like its fangs are that pokey. That's how we judge spiders. <laughs> how pokey their fangs are. <laughs> This is our bracket. Our brackets are, I don't actually know what the name is, I'll have to look them up. They're kind of funny. We found them and it looked like one of the strongest angle bracket we could find for <coughs> putting this roof rack up. Alright. You want me to work on cutting some strips of um, matting? Yeah, if you want to cut a strip um, this thickness. Just cut like yeah. all the way down the mat this thickness. The longest way I can? It. Yeah. Okay.